I started the spaces week whilst on half term break in the Mourn Mountains and was grappling with a visual metaphor that was a personal fit for me for our ideal learning space. Back home, I was going through my photos and was drawn to this one of Carlingford Lock and then I found a line by C.S. Lewis saying that he thought that this actual view represented his idea of Narnia. So together with a the cycling theme, I think I now know my ideal space. Despite being an online course, I still feel part of the physical university with its many hundreds of years of knowledge and experience. I just have the benefit of having it fold away, allowing me to carry it wherever I go in my busy life. Each week starts with excitement and trepidation of what's to come. But I keep the advice from my tutor near to hand. Just jump in, embrace it all. Just keep in mind that the water can be very cold. All the directions and signposting we need for the week is in one easy place and clearly laid out, but there are so many directions to go in. These jostle and push me around. Thoughts and voices bump and collide and some pushing out to the front, some getting lost and crashing all together. Then life outside Idell tries to derail me, demands from work and family coming first and foremost. Next comes the rocky ground of the discussion forum. Many replies and posts get written only to be lost for one reason or another. Some only make it as far as forming in my head. Some actually get typed but not submitted. The pace is speeding up now. The original resources have ballooned with everyone's contributions to the space and interesting links for more viewing appear. How to keep up, which path to take first. When things start to get too frenetic, I appreciate the community of learners and tutors. Some people even start to voice having the same worries as I am. Which cyclist are you? I'm trying to keep up and the fog is starting to lift. I think I'm ready to get some thoughts down in my blog. This is becoming my pattern. I squeeze in all my entries at the end of the week after spending the first half getting my thoughts in order. Am I not there yet? The top is so far off, but at least the scenery is great. It was tough going, but at last, the summit. Discussion posts or replies written and submitted. Blog entries complete, hopefully even coherent and cohesive. Some of my opinions have been reaffirmed, some have been challenged, and some have even been changed. So that's my ideal space, outside and real not just inside a computer. Where's yours?